the 80s stores. Couldn't keep them on the shelves. Mm -hmm. Laura Well is live with a local woman with quite a collection. I've been looking forward to this one. Flashback City. Yes. Please tell me that you ladies had a cabbage patch doll I had and three. that you remember its name. I still Francis. have them okay. at my mother's house. Oh. Yes. Uh, Francis, you do? Of them. Yeah. Well, guess what? I mm. hope my dad's watching because he threw all <gasps> of mine away. No! And I still want a brick. And now I'm looking around Papa and my Wallace. Whole childhood is oh, in Jody's my house. Goodness. I'm telling you. And I remember my very first one's name, too Tyler Herbie. And I remember opening him up and he smelled. <laughs> Like baby, like baby powder. powder. And I know I my dad remember. waited on a long line to get that for me back in, yes, back Aww. in 1983. And Jody, the funny thing is, you started this collection not for your kids, but for you. For me, because <laughs> I just think the kids are so cute. And they're like real children. I mean, they're babies, they're nice to hold, they cradle in your arm. Anyway, they're just delightful. So you started collecting these back in the 80s. Were you one of those people waiting in the long lines and doing that whole thing? Uh, yes, I hate to say, yes, I was. And you ended up collecting, how many would you say you roughly have in here? In here, I probably have around 50 or more, but I used to have well over 100. Okay, and she did tell oh, me wow. she wasn't collecting anymore. She had to cut herself off, but then she said, actually, I did just get these few from Costco the other day. So they I don't think she's exactly done. Yeah, the little ones, these little guys, oh, I guess. Little oh, right how here. cute. So she also has the kusas and the ceramics and the books. What would you say is your favorite thing that you've collected that's Cabbage Patch related? Cabbage Patch related. Oh, I still think it's the dolls. It's the bride and the groom. Okay, so Aww. those guys are in the case, oh, which means they're probably pretty valuable. They are porcelain dolls. Oh, they wow. are regular Coleco or the um, Xavier Roberts uh, original big soft ones. Okay, and you even have some of these autographed by Xavier Roberts himself. I do. I do. We stood in long lines um, in the San Jose area to see Xavier to get them signed on their bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> on the bottom, right where the little artificial signature is on all of ours. So one thing that was really cute that you told me is that the collection you have really reminds you of your own kids and there's a connection there that you've made. Yes, as you look at especially the little porcelain um, figurines, they're little antics that children do and I see I had three children and they it's all the things my kids did, riding bikes together, reading stories together, having tea parties, doing somersaults, being a cheerleader, all those different things. So cute. Well, thank you for inviting us into your home to see this whole collection. She says she's done, guys, but I have a feeling this room is going to keep filling up. <laughs> oh, so cute.